Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting video for all you travelers out there. If you are planning a trip to the Bangkok in Thailand, we have got you covered. In this video, we will be providing a comprehensive arrival guide to ensure a smooth and hassle-free experience at one of the most stunning airports in the world. Okay then, now let's get started. The arrivals process is the same as in any international airport. The signage is good in English, Thai, and Chinese, so you probably won't get lost. The process is straightforward. Assistance for elderly and disabled passengers. As mentioned above, it's a large terminal. There are moving walkways to help speed you to immigration. But if you are traveling with someone elderly or who has difficulty walking, Make sure your airline know you need assistance when you land in Bangkok, and they'll have an electric golf cart waiting. Toilets If you need to go to the toilet, you'll find plenty during the long walk to immigration. There are often long queues at immigration, so pee first. There's no point holding it in and running to immigration only to find you the 30-minute queue. Queuing at Suvarna Pumi Immigration once you reach immigration you'll see that there are separate queuing areas for Thais and foreigners. The Thai queues will have two or three people waiting and a handful of smiley, chilled immigration officers waving people through. The foreign counters will often have hundreds of people waiting and stressed officers who probably won't cheerily welcome you to the land of smiles. There are three immigration areas at Suvarna Pumi. For almost all flights Immigration 1 and Immigration 3 are the nearest to the gates so the vast majority of passengers use these. They often get crowded and have long queues. Immigration 2, in the middle is the smallest but is always the quietest. Try to use that if it's busy. It's adjacent to the priority immigration for business class and VIPs which is signposted. When you finally reach the front of the queue, you'll need to hand over your passport and boarding pass, and stare into a webcam. Assuming you don't look too suspicious you'll be stamped into Thailand for the duration of your tourist visa for 60 days. Or, if you don't require a visa 15 to 30 days depending on your nationality. Some nationalities need to get a visa on arrival. The forms and counters for this are located just before you reach immigration and are clearly signposted. Baggage Claim As you'd expect, baggage claim at Suvarna Pumi Airport is directly behind the immigration counters. Check your carousel number on one of the large overhead screens and then go and get your bag. You'll also find more duty-free shopping in the baggage claim area. Duty-free allowance in Thailand If you want to avoid any potential problems with customs officers, it's worth remembering that the official limits. Personal belongings in reasonable quantity, which are worth no more than 20,000 baht in total and are not prohibited or restricted goods or food. No more than 200 cigarettes or 250 grams of tobacco or 250 grams of all types combined. No more than 1 liter of alcoholic beverage. In reality, virtually every tourist has more than 20,000 baht worth of personal belongings on them. Which makes a bit of a nonsense of the outdated law. So it's ignored. The customs officers are mainly interested in booze and cigarettes. If you're arriving on a flight from Europe or other Western country, then it's very rare to get pulled over at customs for an inspection. The exceptions are when passengers are struggling with a suitcase, carry-on bag and several obvious carrier bags of booze and cigarettes. Where to buy a SIM card at Suvarna Pumi Airport? Once you are through customs you will enter the bustling arrivals area. If you need a SIM card then you will see booths from the three networks, True, AIS and DTAC. It doesn't matter which SIM you buy, all have 4G coverage, all have tourist sims with a package of data, local and cheap international calls. These can be topped up at virtually any minimart in Thailand. Prices start from around 299 baht for one week package. Buses from Suvarna Pumi Airport to Central Bangkok. The air-conditioned S1 airport bus runs from 06 am to 8 pm daily and the fare is 60 baht per person. Catch the bus at entrance 7 on level 1 of the terminal building. It takes the motorway and the expressway into the city center. Then the route runs along Rachadamarad Road, 
Lon Luang Road, Pra RT Road, and Pra Suman Road. It doesn't go along Khao San but drops off and picks up at either end of the street. It's a little more expensive than taking the train into the center of town but a lot less hassle if you are staying around the Khao San area of Bangkok. You'll only have a short walk to your hotel. You can also take a public bus from the airport transportation terminal into Bangkok. But these mostly go to the suburbs where you're unlikely to want to go. But if you're on a tight budget then there are a couple that might be of use if you are staying in the city center. How to take a taxi from Bangkok airport to a hotel in the city center? Just follow the public taxi signs from arrivals down to level 1 and you'll see the taxi rank outside entrances 4 to 6. The old system of queuing having a member of staff write down where you are staying on a piece of paper which you then give to the driver has gone. It has been replaced by a much faster, more modern automatic taxi kiosks now in use. The taxis are all lined up opposite in numbered bays. Just press the button on the taxi kiosk and then match the number on your printout with the bay the taxi is parked in. The printout also has the registration number of your taxi on it. You'll notice three different queues for the taxi ticket machines. One is for regular taxis. There's another for groups of more than four people who need a larger SUV type vehicle. And for people traveling short distances. Walk over to your taxi. Show the driver your printout and tell them where you want to go. If you aren't staying in a well-known hotel or are in an out-of-the-way location, it will help if you have the address in Thai language or a phone number the driver can call for directions. Two things to bear in mind. 1. There's a 50 baht surcharge to add on to the meter reading. Make sure the driver puts the meter on when you get into the taxi. The meter always starts at 35 baht. Two. You have to pay for the expressway tolls. And unless you're landing in the middle of the night, we advise taking the expressway into the city center to avoid traffic jams. One thing you'll need for a taxi is Thai bot. So make sure you have some small notes. Don't give the driver a 1000 bot note and expect him to have change. taking the train into Bangkok. If you are traveling light and staying on or near a Skyrail or subway station or just want to avoid the hassle of dealing with a taxi driver, then this is a very good service. The city line runs from 6 a.m. and has trains four times an hour until midnight. From the airport to Pai Thai Station, which connects with the overhead BTS line, the cost is just 45 baht per person. To Makassan, for a connection to the MRT the price is 35 baht. Traveling time is just under 30 minutes. There are only 8 stations on the route, so you shouldn't get lost. Now came to the end your complete arrival guide to Suvarnabhumi Airport. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, we hope this information helps you kickstart your journey on the right foot. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and tips. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences at Suvarnabhumi Airport, feel free to leave a comment below. Safe travels everyone, and see you in the next video.